This is what I see every day. Hunter dancing around with a ring light. Jason over there just got three fresh broke toes. Eating taco salad. Fresh broke toast. Toes. He just broke two toes. Macy's clod hoppers just broke my right three toes. I'm about to get a medical exemption. Medical exemption for Seminole. His wife stepped on his toes. Yeah. I can't see anything because her light's so bright. Oh, it's not even facing me. It's like a 1972 home movie in this trailer. Look, look, look at the yellow fridge. You think anybody smoked in this trailer? All right, just rolled in to Bainbridge. Had to work on some stuff, get the boat in tip top shape, get some rods ready, rigged up a couple different things, but for the most part, be mostly the same stuff. This week, not staying in a trailer from 1972. We are staying at the Holiday Inn Express, so maybe we'll catch them this week. We'll seem to catch them pretty good out of the 1970s trailer though, but maybe the Holiday Inn will be a little bit of luck. Welcome to Seminole. Put in up here at Brainbridge today. We're gonna fish around down a good ways probably today. We're gonna, we'll make it down a good ways. But just want to kind of figure out if there was a bite up here on the river or whatever you want to call it. Really just kind of wanted to see exactly what it had to offer up here today. Figure out exactly how to run it down because it's been a lot of years since I ran down this river. So we're just gonna Kind of play it by ear and see what happens today. But now we're starting out flipping a prototype new flipping jig from Untamed. I have one bite it. Still shaking off. Still shaking off. Man, that fish looks so different than the Okeechobee bass. Mm -hmm. It looks so, so much different. What was that, four and three quarters? Yeah. I'm telling you, I did not have to practice for this one. I, was, I felt like I didn't even need to practice for this one. Pounder. Looks bigger than that, don't it? Mm -hmm. It's pretty. Yeah, four pounder. Mm -hmm. Caught one on the old swimming jig. I'll take it. I'll take it. I think that was a big male. Big male. Came up there and got that thing. What I tell you when we pulled up here? What I tell you, Hunter, when we pulled up here? He said, I don't think there'll be any bass here, but I'm gonna cast around a little bit and see. Yeah, I said, I remember when I came on the road by here in pre practice. This area right here has got the sauce, it's got the secret sauce. What's the sauce? Just got the right ingredients of grass. Got the right kind of stuff that I like. What do you think it's gonna take to win here? 100 pounds. What do you think it's gonna take to cash your check? 35, no, 33 and a half. What are you gonna have? 100 pounds. <laughs> Manifestation. That sucker came up there. So if the if the frog is like, oh, what's the swim jig? The swim jig's like a frog bite with a silencer on it. You just see a little tail swirl. You don't see much usually. I ain't set the hook more. There's a tournament on you follow one time where I was doing this. There was a tournament back to back Saturdays. And I threw a swim jig up, and I had like a six and a half pounder. 
come out and try to eat it and he missed it okay the next saturday i made the exact same cast same fish came out and ate it and i caught it so i won the tournament on the when i caught the six and a half pounder but i didn't really need it because i won that tournament by like six pounds and i caught a three so if i'd have caught it the saturday before i'd have won back to back aba open series but it's okay that's how it worked out but i'm just saying it's worth it to shake them off this time of year because that was an entire literal week later to the minute like i had it planned out to the minute i was there at the exact same time of day and everything and she came and ate it again look at that slab daddy that's not what we're here for it ain't but they just jump on there every once in a while it's weird you just reeling it and all of a sudden they just get on it let's see how big it is so what's your guess i can't give you any info you cannot give me any info that's right I think it's like a 187. Oh, I big got him. He's a 165. He stuck the landing in. Locked up on. Boom. Woo woo. Is that a bass? I think so. It looked like a bass. Day two. Lake Seminole practice. We out here trying to find the winning hole. We want to fish in the grass a good bit today. See if we can't find something special where we can pull up and get a bite or two. I feel like it's going to be one somewhere around this grass. Should have shook him off because I knew he was there. I was probably stupid. What are you doing? I am uh, practicing for Seminole, which I mean, catching them all and practice don't help. There's another one up there covered in baby powder. So I just caught a real big one on one color. So we're going to change colors. But what happened was, I saw that fish waking from a long way back. Dude, there's one right there. Waking like crazy in here. That fish came up on that frog three different times before it got it. So we're going to change colors. I've already had two other ones hit it, didn't get it. Pre-spawn. I don't know this lake well, but I know some other lakes that are close to here color right here catch some pre-spawn and during spawn and post-spawn and every other time of the year move to a new spot had two or three bikes in there one really really good one i think it was a big male actually like a real big male we got a little bit of something where i think the fish are going to be coming to us so that's always good always
All right, 1130. We've been on the water for five hours and had one bite. And I got that bite in like the first 20 minutes. It was a big one. Been kind of doing some different stuff since then. I've been trying to catch them, but I've been trying to catch them a way where I feel like it's going to be one, not just grinding shallow. For me, it's going to be shallow, swim jig, frog, maybe some flipping, and then probably do a little bit of live scope. How do you think it's going to be flipping? Live scope. Grass, not timber. You want live scope and grass? Have you done it? I've done a little bit of that, and I've not had a bite. Very pretty. Probably just shy of two pounds. Is that a keeper? That ain't a keeper. When you come here and there'll be like a six lane you want. Alright, we ran up the Chattahoochee. It's not real far, but ran up it. Went to a little backwater, saw a bunch on bed. Haven't caught anything. Worth making this run though. Day two of practice, complete. We uh, better find on tomorrow. That's all I gotta say. Because the last two days have been tough. I think we've narrowed down. I really spent the first day doing some off the wall stuff, and today doing some off the wall stuff on the other side. So tomorrow we're gonna try to hunker down and just make sure we can get some bites. So we're gonna get some different rods out, different baits out, fish at a different pace. Just make sure we get some bites in the